Hello everyone, I'm Elena Bain, your Intuitive Holistic Lifestyle Coach. Now, this is going to be an off-the-cuff video, and I'm going to talk to you about how I use the spirit and the spirit world to facilitate my consultations or my lifestyle coaching for my clients. But before I get into it, can you do me a favor, and I really appreciate it, hit that subscribe button at the bottom, and that will also give you some alerts of my next videos. So... I'm an intuitive holistic lifestyle coach. What does that even mean? Well, intuitive means I have a connection with the spirit world. So when I do a consultation or I do a life coaching session with somebody, spirits always, I could probably say 9.5 out of 10, always show up. And usually it's a past loved one, um, somebody you know, or it could be a guardian angel that will re reveal itself to me, but usually it's a past loved one. And what these spirits do is, one, they always make me feel how they passed away to validate that they are here in their room and I pass that information on to the client. So sometimes I'll feel like um, my chest is closing in or there's a heaviness on my chest. So I know that person passed away from respiratory issues or heart attack or you know pneumonia or so like breathing issues sometimes i'll get a really sharp pain in the back of my head and i'll start getting a headache it's not my headache it's spirit's way of telling me how they passed so that usually indicates for me that they had a blow to their head so possibly from a fall or some sort of accident um so I usually pass that on to the client and I say, look, there's a male spirit or a female spirit. And I'll guess around the age group. I like, no, no, they're older. Or sometimes, no, they're not older. They're probably in about their 30s or even 40s. But this is how they're telling me they passed on. And so it's just enough to validate for the client. Yes, that is so-and-so who's passed on. And then what they usually do as I'm doing the consultation or the coaching session they'll start putting messages in my head. So if all of a sudden, I'll, words like flowers or birds or trinkets will start popping up in my head. And I don't necessarily understand what they mean, but I'll relay that back to my client. And then I'll be like, okay, what is with the birds? Are you seeing a particular bird a lot lately? And they'll be like, absolutely. I'm seeing blue jays wherever I go. What does that mean? And I'll be like, oh, it's spirit's way it's saying, pay attention. They're with you. And then they'll give me another message. So I don't necessarily see the spirits. I feel them and I hear the messages that they put in my head. So it's a gift from God. I'm blessed to have it. And I absolutely 100%, 100% respect this gift. Uh, but also I will use my tarot cards in a coaching session, sometimes before coaching sessions, just so I get in the space of the person's energy before I see them. Uh, right now, I am loving my messages from your angels by Doreen Virtue. I actually have about 10 different decks, but it's funny. I'll gravitate to a couple for months, then I'll put them away, and then another two will like call out to me, and then I'll use them. Now, also, you got to remember when you're doing a, when I'm doing a life coaching session with somebody. I have a sociology degree from McMaster University. So that allows me to understand why people act the way they do. So why are you less likely to commit a crime but your neighbor is more likely to commit a crime? What are the socioeconomic factors? What are the other um, parameters that cause that? So because of my sociology degree, I'm very good at identifying patterns. Everybody has a pattern. We're all creatures of habit in some sort. And then once I identify your pattern, I could see where your roadblocks are and I could see where your weaknesses and your strengths are. Now, here's the thing. You don't break bad habits. You change behaviors. And the best way to change a behavior is you put a distraction in place. Now, where spirit comes in, once I identify your pattern, spirit will kind of fill in the blanks so I'll be like, okay, Sally's pattern I'm identifying is this. I see her roadblock. She has abandonment issues. She has a fear of uh, failure. She has a, a sometimes a fear of success. That's actually more prominent than a fear of failure. And then spirit will dive in and start putting messages in my head. Yes, Sally's not doing something that she used to do. Like, And then it will be like writing painting, uh, drawing, something creative, she got away from that. So Spirit's telling me right now, Sally has to get back to that. So Spirit kind of fills in the blanks for me. 
And then from that, between spirit and my sociology degree and my holistic lifestyle coaching certifications, we develop a tangible execution plan for you to get you from point A to point B exactly what you want. Now, when you identify the roadblocks, the roadblocks are there and they've been there for years. It's about dismantling them. They're still going to be there, but we're going to knock them down so they never debilitate you from getting to where you it is you want to go and spirit loves 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 to intervene and send me messages about that and sometimes spirit will tell me you know what sally's actually not meant to do anything right now she's just meant to be and be patient because the universe is kind of orchestrating a plan right now And that's okay. And that happens actually quite a bit. So if you feel like your life is actually not in your hands right now, like you have the intention, the drive to do something, but it just doesn't work out and nothing is going as planned, that's okay. You might be in a period of time in your life right now where you're actually just meant to be and be patient because the universe and spirit is working on orchestrating a plan actually for you. It's getting things ready. So, and that when you feel like your life's not in your hands, just be. It's not because there's not not anything wrong with you or you're not strong enough or you're not smart enough or you can't figure shit out. No, you're not actually meant to do anything. And sometimes that can be the most frustrating for clients when I tell them that, but you just have to let it be because when spirit calls on you, you to start taking action in your life, you better be ready for it because they're here to make sure you live an extraordinary life. That's the purpose because you deserve it. And that's what you need to be doing. So that's how I use spirit. That's how I use my tarot cards, my sociology degree, my holistic lifestyle coaching certification, all together to get you from living a mediocre life to living the extraordinary life you absolutely deserve. It's time to stop thinking about it and start doing something about it. So click on the link below and I'll set you to my uh, consultation booking calendar. You'll actually get to speak with me for free for 15 minutes. And you're going to tell me one problem you have. And I am going to tell you a solution to that one problem that you have, because we only have 15 minutes, that you can execute right away. And will spirit show up in that 15 minutes? Oh yeah, they always show up and I'm grateful for it. Anyways, I'm Elena Bame and I'll talk to you soon. Don't forget to click on that link.